We're in Santa Clara, California, here at the offices of IP Infusion, and I'm talking with Richard Petrie, CTO of Lynx. Lynx is one of the largest internet exchanges in the world, and we're going to talk about disaggregation and open networking. So you've recently done some work with IP Infusion on, on disaggregation. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, um, we, we selected, a number of months ago now, we selected um, both uh, Edge Core Networks and IP Infusion to run our disaggregated platform to replace one of the peering lands at the Internet Exchange in London. Okay. And what's the motivation for this? What, why would you want to try this? Well, there's two main factors, really, that, that, that are driving this. One is cost, and the other one is technology. What we've seen over, over a period of time is that uh, white boxing and disaggregation has had, had uh, a significant effect within the data center community, but it hasn't really, uh, it hasn't really reached the wide area service provider. Uh, an internet exchange point acts a little bit like a data center, but it interconnects a number of data centers, so it's, it, it, it sort of bridges the gap between uh, the wide area service provider and the data center. Uh, environment. Yeah, you guys are kind of in between, aren't you? Absolutely. So, so we're in between the two, um, and, and up until now, the disaggregated platforms haven't really serviced our needs. Yeah. Where we started, when we did our investigation with IP Infusion and Edge Core Networks, is we realized that actually the technology, uh, the software technology and, and the hardware platform that's been used within the data centers is starting to give us what we wanted. So our, our, our main reason for choosing to go down this route was to say, well, can we offer the technology that our members, our customers want at the price point that the market is demanding. And we felt that working with IP Infusion, we could get that. What kind of time frame are you looking at at the point? Like, is this still in the idea stage? No, this isn't in the idea stage. It's, it's quite mature now. So, mm -hmm. so we, uh, we already have a second land within the London, uh, second period land within the London environment. We've set out a target to replace that over the December, January period, December 2017 into January 2018. We've already completed a number of proof of concepts with IP Infusion. We are now just waiting for the final GA code, so the general availability code. And we have Edge Core Networks of providers with the hardware that's uh, actually in, in situ in London and starting to be deployed uh, at the sites as we speak. So you mentioned peering lands. I'm wondering, can you tell me a little bit more about that? I'd, I'd like to know more about the architecture of, of an internet exchange and, and where these, these disaggregated boxes are going. Yeah, so, so an internet exchange is, is, uh, is, is basically a, a point for networks to come together, uh, mm -hmm. typically content and access, where they come together in exchange. Uh, historically, that, that started life as a, a single location, a single switch. Um, but as the popularity and, and, and size uh, of, of, of the, the community grew, um, that, that then expanded. As you said earlier, Lynx is one of the world leading internet exchanges alongside um, you know, two others in Europe. Uh, within London, we stretch across 11 data centers from uh, Slough in the west of London through to Tally House in, in the east of London. And we interconnect all of those data centers with our fabric, our platform, our exchange platform. And we welcome over 700 members, uh, customers, to come together to peer, exchange traffic, exchange routes over that fabric, over that platform. Now, obviously, disaggregation wasn't normally tried before because it's not particularly easy. You need to get the pieces, you need to put them together. Can you talk about some of the challenges of doing this? Absolutely. So, I mean, the, the, the challenges uh, really come down to working together in partnership. Uh, traditionally, we've gone to a big network vendor, um, and they provide a one-stop shop. So they will give you everything from the, the proof of concept, um, hand-holding all the way through to the, to the testing uh, and, and the deployment. In the case of disaggregation, we're having to work with Edge Core Networks, ourselves, and IP Fusion in partnership. It's a new type of working. Uh, it's something that we've learned as we've gone along. It's some, something that's been quite challenging. But we think that it's the future, so it's worth sticking with. It's worth going down that route. Uh, and we're starting to see the benefits now. Uh, and we've got a very healthy relationship with IP Infusion. And I'm sure once we go live and we see the network evolve, uh, that will continue for many years to come. Eventually, down the road, do you think you could do this kind of disaggregated solution on your own? Well, I think, I, I think there's always going to be a part, a, part, a part to play for the, 
for the different um, participants in the ecosystem. So you're, you're never really going to be able to step away and just be be self-sufficient. I, I think I think for this type of environment to work, you do have to have strong partnerships. You need to have confidence that you can test. Um, if you're asking for a new feature to come out through software, you need to have uh, a strong test environment that is shared across across the three companies. Uh, and, and you have to have confidence that their software developers understand your business me need. Uh, and, and I don't see how you can do that with, with, with just do, doing it on your own. Well, Richard, thanks very much for your time. Okay, thank you. Thank you.